Hey guys, sorry about that. I lost connection. I don't know what happened. Um, so you, you guys are probably going to be coming in in just a couple minutes. So I'm just going to start this, uh, start it over again. Um, and Thailand, I want to go see. I want to go to Thailand. Poopers, you're the first one to come back. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I lost connection. You guys, uh, not bad. I mean, I made it most of the way through. Uh, so it's 9:02. Uh, I didn't die. <laughs> sorry, sorry to disappoint you, poopers. Welcome back, Ma. <laughs> hey, welcome, 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 guys. Sorry, I lost connection. Um, hopefully, uh, everybody's gonna come back. Nicole, welcome, welcome. You made it. Shayna, how's it going? Okay, yeah, yeah, you guys, man. I was, I was on a roll. Um, I haven't tried Kukicha. Uh, but I have tried Snowbud and Foxtrot. Uh, Foxtrot is really, um, it's great for relaxing. It's got a nice chamomile flavor to it uh, with the mint. It's, it's excellent. Uh, Snowbud is a really light flavored uh, ice, uh, not iced tea, uh, a white tea. So it, you might want to try other teas with, oh, other white teas with a stronger flavor first so that you can build your way up to the lesser uh, the less flavorful ones, so that you know what to look for when you uh, when you drink it. Uh, so it's 9:03. I have eight minutes to go. You know how exciting this is. Yeah, it's it's a snow butt. That's that's what you get when uh, when you have dandruff coming out of your butt hair. <laughs> anyway, oh the uh, <laughs> that's. That's, yeah, that's, that's bringing bad. So, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, what was that? Oh, yeah, that I want to go to, uh, mm -hmm. to Thailand. This could be, uh, amazing. Welcome, welcome back, Luke. Sorry. Jose, how's it going? Uh, I lost, I lost connection, but I'm glad you guys are coming back. Um... That because that that kind of caught me off guard. I was on a roll, and it didn't even um, it didn't even uh, it didn't even lag. It just shut down. I'm like ah, I was so I was going, and I'm still going. <laughs> you can see, got that energy up. I look like a forest animal. God, I gotta see what it, I, I gotta see what uh, what I froze on. Because that's probably like, if I'm a chipmunk or something, or maybe a fox. Yeah, I'm foxy. That is my foxy face. No, it's not foxy at all. <laughs> I'm freely going to admit, not foxy. <laughs> oh, that moment's going to haunt me for the rest of my life. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I want to be a, uh, I want to travel more than I had before. When I was a kid, I was never really interested in traveling. Um, but now that I'm growing up and I'm like taking, learning about different cultures, stuff like that, I want to, I want to learn more. Yeah, don't worry, it's, it's, it's only, what, six minutes left? So I'm sure it's not going to, uh, it's not going to crash again. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because I'm so close. I'm like down to the wire. Six minutes. I'm uh, sorry. It's uh, nine oh six now, so it's five minutes to go. And oh, you know, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like now. Look at that. Now you can see it got slightly darker. It's got that nice red, uh, red tone to it. That's really appetizing. There we go. Oh man, I'm getting excited. Uh, yep, I have tried the White Eternal Spring, and it is—it's out of this world. I love it. Absolutely, it's nice and flavorful. Uh, that's what I what I like about it. Um, I would actually recommend also the uh, the white chai I have white chai at my uh, at my office I've already given a couple people uh, some bags and they they love it 
it's got it's it's great for the fall. Um, it's it's good for now. I mean, it's never a bad time for it, but it's perfect for the fall. Kara, how's it going? You're you're, you're almost to the end. Um, I, uh, let me see, nine oh seven. So I have four minutes to go before I pull this uh, pull the iced tea out. And I was missing all of your tea puns. Especially, I'm sure that, because this is like all watermelon flavored. And oh my god, you would have had so much fun saying like, watermelon! I don't know if you don't know that guy on the, uh, on the vine, I forgot his name. But I'm waiting for, <laughs> I'm waiting for somebody to reference that. But, you know, I had to do it myself. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so... Um, seven, yeah, nine to seven, four minutes to go. I'm pumped. As a matter of fact, I'm like, I'm debating whether or not I should go, uh, I should pull out the ice now. It's, you're, you're absolutely right. It's not a party without you, or without, without the, with the double E at the end, just for the sake of rhyming it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, white chai has, it's not that strong. Um, the Thai chai has a strong coconut flavor, but the, uh, the white chai, it's, it's not very strong at all. I would, I would recommend it. Um, also, what was it? The, um, if you want a stronger Thai, uh, sorry, the stronger chai flavored, I would actually... Uh, also uh, recommend the masala chai because that's got a nice more it, it's more towards the uh, the Indian uh, co uh, not country uh, region with the darker uh, stronger flavor to it and I love I love the the, the masala chai and it actually it's supposed to be a, a really good iced tea as well I haven't done that yet but we'll see Two minutes. Two minutes to go. I can't believe I'm like almost at the end. My marathon is almost over. I, I I'm I'm psyched. Let me let me get my T Rex ready. Um yeah, I would recommend it. I mean if you like spicy off the uh off the cuff, then that would be that would be a great way to to jump into it. But uh, if you want to start off, I would start off with uh, with white chai. Um, since you don't like coconut, I would normally say Thai chai, uh, but that might be something that you work up to as well. Uh, it's it's creamy. It's got that 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 uh, coconut flavor, but it's also got vanilla in it, and it it makes it really sweet and creamy. Mm, excuse me. I highly recommend it, but I would I would work you, uh, if, I, if it was up to me, I would work your way up to it. Uh, that was probably not grammatically correct at all, but pff, who cares. <laughs> Nine, ten, one minute to go, people. One minute. I can't wait. I'm actually surprised that I'm still as energetic um, as, I, as I am right now, because normally at this time, I, I would have the actual tea to talk about. I haven't tasted it yet. So, I'm like I'm just winging it this entire time. Uh, the rooibos apple cinnamon and the rooibos caramel. The rooibos apple cinnamon is, it's great. I put that in one of my, um, in one of my blends. And it's, it's essentially fall. As for the rooibos caramel, I got some. And this stuff is awesome. Like I make it with, uh, I make it as iced tea, and it's oh my god, out! It's it's super sweet, super super uh, super flavorful. So I absolutely, I, I absolutely love it. Uh, trying to work people again. What do you mean work people? I, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, you'll, 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 you'll follow me up. Um, it's 9-11, so it's time for the unveiling. So now, the way that this works is unscrew it, and it's still attached. 
So I'm going to leave this here for just a moment while it drains a little bit. And then now I'm going to sweeten it. I use eight packs of the uh, of the stevia. Ooh, let me pull this. I'm using the eight packs because it's gonna it's gonna dilute as well. Here, I'm gonna sweeten it in front of you guys. Sorry you can't see my pretty face for the time being. There we go. I think I got it all. Yummy! And now, for the reason why they call it iced tea, I had to toss it out. I'm going to go ahead and add the ice. Yeah, I don't want the glare to come out. Hey, Aaron, you made it at the tail end. <laughs> I went the entire hour. And now, for an added treat. The, uh, well, let me put this stuff down for a second. You guys are going to love this. Some of you already know my secret, so shh, don't tell, but I bought this from Groupon a while ago, and it's one of my best, um, I'll try not to drop anything else, it's one of my best investments. I have Star Wars ice trays. Yes, that's right, I use Star Wars ice. This is the Boba Fett one. The Slave One ship. It's a little bit hard to, to see. And Boba Fett himself. I'm so going to get sued by Disney for this. Boopers, no thumbs down. <laughs> I knew you'd like it, Luke. So I dropped those in. I also have... I know, it's, it's the lighting. I don't know how I can show it without, like... It's, it's the lighting and the glare. But I also have the Millennium Falcon. Nice and detailed, too. There's two of those. And of course, stormtroopers. Yeah, the Falcon is cool and it's also like really big. It's got like, it's about the size of my hand. I also have, now this one's going to be really hard to see, but it's Han Solo in Carbonite. I'm trying to get a good angle, but yeah, you're not going to be able to see. Ah, I dropped one. I also, I'm not going to pull it out now, but I also have Darth Vader, um, I don't want to put too much ice in this because it'll go crazy. Hey, Therese! Um, I also have Darth Vader, I have R2-D2, um, I have, uh, the X-Wing fighters, and more stormtroopers. I killed him! I killed Han! I have, and it also has this big Han Solo. I should have started with this one. Big one. But of course, the Star Wars collection would not be complete if I didn't have my very own. Okay, this is going to take a second. Ah! I always struggle pulling this one out. Mmm! There we go. My own 
Death Star. That's right. A Death Star. It's even got the little thing in there. Yes. I know all you fan you fan people are drooling. I don't have they don't make Jabba the Hutt. Unfortunately, believe me, I would have loved to have that. I can actually get you the link. I bought it off of Groupon. So I'll, I'll, I'll send you uh, the link afterwards. Now the best part about this is, yeah, my nerd is showing. After I have all the ice in here, you get to aerate it. You get to shake it up all you want. As you can see, it's already turning pink. Get this nice pink feeling. That's the red that was diluted by the extra ice. And I can feel it already getting cold. The more you shake it, the more aerated it gets, and it gives it a nice, smooth flavor. Oh, it's feeling really cool. It should be almost ready. I like to have it nice and cold. Oh my god, my dimples are coming out. <laughs> hey, Christina, welcome back. Almost there. Oh, nice. You made it, Mom. I'm, 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 I'm glad you like the white strawberry, because that's like one of my favorites. Ooh, that's nice and cold now. The moment I've been waiting for. Look at that. Nice and pink. That's the way that watermelon should be. I know, man. It's like when I get that excited, I get really into it. My dimples pop out. Okay, there we go. So before I drink it, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Look at that. Pink and frothy. Isn't that beautiful? Now for the for the uh, grand finale. Mmm. It doesn't it doesn't smell any different. You can still smell like the high concentration of watermelon and the uh, and the spearmint. And for the taste. Oh yes. Oh, absolutely. It's refreshing. It's really sweet, citrusy. It's really, really good. Like, this is the kind of thing that, if it's a hundred and something degrees outside, you're gonna sit in the air conditioner and drink this all day. I, that, that's like, the best way to, to, to spend a day. And, you don't, because it's cold, you don't have to slurp it. Mmm. Oh, it's cool and refreshing. Oof. Boy. That was so worth the wait. And this is what I go through every time I make it. It is. It is good. <laughs> I would highly recommend it for you. Well, come on over, Kara. You, this, is, I, this is the place that I, I already took you to. So you know they have some, some good stuff there. Alright, so, there we have it. My, my uh, iced tea is done. Yeah, you taste the mint. Um, it's not, it, it's, it's about even, maybe a little bit uh, weaker than the watermelon, but you, you definitely taste it. It's there. Uh, so, grand finale of my uh, one hour marathon. Uh, 921, so it's been um, going on almost an hour and a half. Because it took a, it took 11 minutes for me to get it steeped. And so, yeah, it's like an hour and 20 minutes on the dot. And this has been my longest, my longest stream yet. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to open it up to you guys if you have any questions, if you want to talk about it. I still, I, as, I never 
close out without finishing my cup. Well, if you don't like the mint, then you can try the uh, the regular uh, watermelon cooler. It's without the mint, but it's really, it's out of this world. I, I highly recommend it. If you like watermelon flavored, it's great. Uh, what was your question? I don't think I saw it. Let me see if I can scroll. Uh, my my nerd is showing. That was the last thing I saw. Yeah, I, I missed your question. It, it, it didn't show up. Oh. Oh, I'm in heaven. Well, I'm going to keep on talking while I wait for you to, uh, to finish typing the question. Um, so anyway, yeah. Oh, that, wow, my, my Death Star is still, it hasn't, uh, <laughs> it hasn't finished, uh, melting yet. Everything else is gone. Oh, it's definitely tasting. Like, I, I love this. Just in general, I love, uh, I love this iced tea. But it's really like this is the first time I've actually besides besides the little sample that I had this is the first time that I had it all uh, all together. Uh, so how would I go about making an iced tea when all I have is the ceramic pot? Um, what I would recommend really is um, how well if you have a ceramic pot. And a, a, a pitcher on its own, I would recommend um, instead of brewing the tea with, say, if it's a single serve cup, um, it's usually one teaspoon per per cup. Uh, I would double that, depending on how many cups you plan to make. So, say if you're going to make three cups, <laughs> you would put in six teaspoons. Of um, I mean, no, am I doing it right? No, one cup, one cup per. Yeah, so it would be two two teaspoons per cup, give or take. Um, and then once you once you have all that, you boil the water, put it in there. Then at the end of it, once it's finished steeping, you put the tea in the plastic. Uh, container. Hopefully, it's that it's one of those that has uh, no. What was it called? The the B B P B P Bs or I forget the term. Um, you put it in there and then you put the ice on top of it. Uh, if you're able to shake it, go right ahead and shake it. If not, it's okay. You'll just uh, sh shake it back and forth like that. Put it in the fridge. Let it cool out, and you're good to go in about a couple of hours. This way it makes it so much easier though, because you can brew it inside the pitcher. If you want, because I, I got to give Jamie the link uh, to to this particular one. Uh, I can send it to you too. And you guys got to remind me because I'm uh, I, I'm making a lot of promises, but <laughs> my I have old man brain, so I might forget one or two of you. I know I gotta send uh, Lini the uh, the link to the Groupon, and yeah, that it, it will work. <laughs> I, I bet it. Um, yeah, you you can do it that way as well as well. That works best if you do it um, in a pot. Mmm. Ooh, that's good stuff. I'm almost done. Almost done. Any other questions or comments, or you want me to send you more links? Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, Jazzy, I also have to send you the um, the link to the orange creamsicle as well. So I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that after. Oh, I'll, I'm going to be sending you like a ton of links. Hmm. Anybody else?
anything. Whew. This, this one really took a lot out of me. <laughs> you guys are the best. I'm considering taking a break from streaming uh, for a couple weeks just to um, take a step back, think about new things to do, uh, new ways to go about it. I also want to do a, uh, a matcha one of these days. Um, I want to research more of the... Um, more of the uh, the ceremony because there's an entire ceremony that goes with it. Um, I want to I want to practice that a little. So that's gonna be something I want to do further on down the line. Um, but I have I have the kit already, so it's good to go. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, I, I'm gonna take a little break because this has been a wonderful experience, but it's also very. Uh, very exhausting, as you guys can imagine. You see the kind of uh, energy I put out there, and you know, doing it week after week after week. It's it's mm. really difficult, but it's worth every minute. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna finish off my uh, my tea real quick. Uh, last last call. If you have any questions, comments you want to make, Ralph, if you're still watching, tea bags, tea bags. Uh, ooh, choked. Okay, guys. Uh, looks like I'm going to call it a night. Thanks so much for making this experience what it was. I have I had a ball. As usual, you guys make it so worthwhile to do this every week. And even though I'm going to be taking a break for a little while, it's only going to be like maybe two, three weeks, something like that. Um... But I definitely want to continue doing this because this has been a an extraordinary experience. You guys are the best. I love you all, and I'm signing off, so have a great night. <laughs>